Sustainable stand up, please welcome to the stage the fantastic Jurice. Woo! Woo nice to Woo <laughs> Sachet. Sachet. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hi, my name is Sharice. I am coming to you live from my living room in London. Um, a few things about me. I'm a science policy researcher, um, an environmental justice advocate, and also a chronic overthinker of all things. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for the overthinkers in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I think about gentrification a lot, for example. Uh, gentrification is when an underinvested area with affordable housing, locals who've lived there for generations, maybe a teensy bit of crime, gets a <laughs> pop-up concept restaurant with a name like Quinoa and uh, a high-end supermarket like Waitrose in the UK or in the US, Whole Foods, um, and also maybe a little boutique pet furniture shop named My Bedroom's <laughs> Bedding. <laughs> it's happening in my area. Rent prices are shooting up. The former homes and their inhabitants with the character and history are being displaced by you know, generic condos and enthusiastic young middle-class professionals named Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor usually has a few cute little dogs as well. And uh, suddenly my local cafes are serving gourmet, gourmet nut milk lattes and, and <laughs> spice baked goods and like it's messed up right because i love my original neighbors with with all their character and history and i love having affordable rent in this economy <laughs> and also i love gourmet nut milk lattes <laughs> really price baked good purchases thank you <laughs> so gentrification is a dream topic for overthinkers, especially when you're also an environmental justice advocate who owns a dog, a very big dog named Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Something about dogs that everyone is sure to notice is they poop a lot. Or, well, I don't know, it seems like a lot. Like humans and dogs probably poop with the same frequency, but we have toilets and dogs have the great outdoors and ideally attentive owners with baggies. But for some reason, in, in gentrifying areas, the dog owners, present company excluded, of course, <laughs> they don't always clean up after their dogs. Um, enthusiastic young middle-class owners, Trevor. <laughs> the, the, the enthusiastic young middle-class dude we're talking about now. <laughs> The dog's picking up his own poop. <laughs> the environmental justice advocate in me has heard that with the influx of these tiny, expensive, yappy dogs, comes a change in the health of, of, of our already limited green spaces. So you'll see the grass and bushes in, in my neighborhood are going from this like verdant green to like, sulfur yellow. <laughs> and, and I can't help but think this is a public health issue, right? If, if my block that used to inhabit 200 people and, and 10 dogs now inhabits 1,000 people and 100 dogs, all who have to do their business outside because mm. we haven't quite figured out how to train them to use the toilet, 15% <laughs> of those dogs poops aren't being picked up. That's anyway, 15 to 75 poops a day left to fester on the pavement. Boof. Stepped on and tracked back into my home. Well, no, no, that's not right. You don't wear your shoes in my home. You do not wear your shoes in my home. Or, or left to leach into the ground. Possibly Now everything is infected with poo parasites. Oh. I could 
die at any minute just from drinking my tap water. Do you see what I mean by overthinker? <laughs> the poop situation keeps me up at night. Like most normal people, like like you all, presumably, worry uh, <laughs> about finances, the climate crisis, global genocide. <laughs> It's dog poop that gives me <laughs> existential nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, all that overthinking means I also think about policy solutions for this socio-environmental, behavioral, economic dog poop problem. <laughs> so here's my guide to all of you overthinkers out there who would like to turn your insomniac angst into action in the form of policy. Here it goes. Step one, research the real dynamics of the problem. We need data. So we have to research the problem up close and daily. It helps to have an assistant with a good understanding of the issues or lived experience of the problem. So I recruited Trevor. <laughs> My dog, not the oh. <laughs> <laughs> finds the, the influx of, of dog poop by the growing yuppie armada of tiny dogs is utterly fascinating. So many new butts to sniff. <laughs> <laughs> when we're outside for walkies, he leads me directly to the poop. <laughs> Tries to eat it. <laughs> part for the community cleanup effort oh <laughs> two after we've collected the data we need to formulate a hypothesis about what might bring about positive change and then we've got to test it in small ways i propose that one solution would be keeping trevor on a leash Yes, this time I do mean the enthusiastic young middle class dude. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is that policy would be difficult to implement at scale. Right? <laughs> Plus, human Trevor liked it so much, it's skewing his behavior in ways not related to regrading our parks, but we don't judge, live your best life, Trevor. <laughs> Finally, lastly, not least, step three. You could always do a comedy set for some beautiful people around the world so they can start to see how their quirky overthinking can actually be superpower. And if you're lucky, they'll think about policy options that might help mitigate the socio-environmental behavioral economics of dog poop in a gentrifying part of their city, making it a safe, clean and green place for all of us to live. Thank you. Yay! 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 Awesome, awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Yay. Let's go. <laughs> Delay 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 Delay. Delay. Yeah. All right, everybody go on the gallery. Go on the That's my wife. That's my sister. I think, I think your, think your, your husband's, husband's in a tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get to the Okay, cool. Okay, thank you guys so thank much. Okay, so 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 much